Hello, hello everyone. My name is Crimson and welcome to part three of Resident Evil 7. Now, I ran into a little bit of a problem uh, when I was originally recording this part because the original video, I'm, I'm having to re-record this right now, the original video did not capture the game audio, so it's nothing but me talking, so I decided to just record it and I had to replay the game up to this point. So, uh... I do already know a couple of things that are going to happen. Uh, not not very much, uh, to be honest, but... Oh, there's the phone call. Hello, Zoe. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? And what the fuck are you... Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh. And that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Right, so we have a smartwatch slash codex. Oh, you, yeah, she's one hell of a girl. Uh, so I was suspicious about this, but as it turns out, Zoe is actually part of the family, uh, which, which makes sense, I mean. You know, she knows a lot of what's going on around here, and while I, I didn't see a picture of her anywhere, it, it does make sense that she is part of the family. And, uh, also, uh, there's a giant hole in the wall. Uh, Big Daddy Jack put that there. And, <laughs> uh, that, that, uh, to be honest, uh, getting back up to this point was, uh, not as graceful as I'd like for it to be. Uh, all right, yeah, I need a uh, key to get in here first. Let's uh, go ahead and see. Uh, we're supposed to get the knife in a minute. Yeah, there he is. Open up. Yes, officer. Hey, hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now. Sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Now, calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now, that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You got to give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Hey, deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. What am I gonna do with a knife? Well, I know what I'm going to do with a knife. I'm going to go all the way back over here and cut that little bubble head first. And so we have a boss fight coming up. And uh, this boss fight took me a couple of tries the first time, actually. Um, this, uh, this works in kind of a... There we go. Uh, the, the boss fights in this game, uh, for me, they kind of work in like a traditional trial and error sort of setup. Where I'm gonna die a couple of times just figuring out how they work, and uh, see, can we, yeah, we can break that. Handgun ammo, yes, please. I will say, uh, when I when I first did this, uh, I I was not expecting it to get as crazy as it as it does, and opens as me. Hey, oh, we gotta officer. get the fuck out of here. Now first you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Won't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. 
You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, look behind you. Wait. And officer down. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of hits in on him. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill every one of you. And it begins. Okay. Got the chem fluid over here. There should be a... Yeah, he's right behind me. Uh, he's a lot quicker than I expect him to be. It's over, boy. I'm hoping not. And I'm gonna get the gun in just a minute. Yes. And the car keys. Oh. Darn it, he got me. Okay, I took a little bit of damage, but I'm I'm doing okay. You're part of the family now. Now I'm gonna try and uh, whittle him down a little bit with just the knife, cause because that gun ammo is like water. It's or gold rather. Words. I'm an old man, son. No, I know I can't, but it's still fun to do it because you, Jack, are a very annoying man. That's it. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. Swing the axe. Come on. Oh, oh, he swung it. All right. I'm going to have to go ahead and use one. like a bug. And use the keys, use the keys, use the keys. Ah. Last time I did this, I, I managed to get in the car and I could and I could hit him then. Ah, darn it. I've already lost this fight. He already got me, yeah. Yeah, he already got me. Darn it. Oh, darn it. He's already... He's already taking the car. I don't want him to take the car. I can't get him when he's in the car. Oh my god. Did I just find a safe pocket? Oh, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. I don't think he can hit me here, can he? Nope, he can. He definitely can. Okay, get the key, get the key, get the key. Got it. Good, 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 good. Please don't swing at me. You go get it! Stop. I know. I've been getting it. I don't know how many times already. Yes. Yes. Finally, yes, I can get him. Come on, where are you at? Come on. I think I got him. Did I get him? I think I got him this time. Let's just be sure. Oh, here we go. You are insanely strong. Let's finish this, you and I. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna take you for a ride. No, 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 no! Now, amazingly, this doesn't kill us. It does, however, put a dinger in old Daddy Jack. And you're smiling still. That is so creepy. Oh, deputy. You were one of the good ones. Okay. Here for a minute. Let's, uh, let's make some chem fluid. I mean, uh, first oh, aid. Oh, boy! Now look what you've done! This is the end, you know? I forgot he does that. <laughs> Dear Daddy Jack, you are down for the umpteenth time. Okay, can I get up now? There you are. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see someone. Oh, fuck! Okay. And up we go. Finally, we got past that. So, uh, now oh, here's the key. Oh yeah, I forgot you gotta unscrew the back. It feels so good to have this thing back in my hand, finally. So, uh, I have a, I have a theory now about uh, about everyone in this game. So, Resident Evil is about zombies and a virus outbreak from the Umbrella Corporation. Now, I think that this uh, was either a test ground or this family works for Umbrella because they're starting to seem a bit more like zombies, or at least Jack is. And I probably should heal. Uh, yeah, I, I really should heal. Um, I don't wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a herb. Mm. Didn't completely do it, but it's, it's good enough. Um, I don't, I, I just don't wanna have to, uh, ways to first aid when I probably am going to need it in a minute. Um, oh, let's save after that boss fight. So it seems that this, uh, this family, they are the result or they worked for Umbrella Corporation because they're starting or Jack is starting to act a lot more like a not your run of the mill zombie, just like completely mindless, but the fact that he doesn't die and that he is certifiably insane is starting to have me wonder, you know, what what is the deal with this? Alrighty, open says me. Ah, another her. Shoot me. I'm gonna use my knife. Antique coin, yes. I don't know what those are for still. Hello, Zoe. Did my daddy give you a hard time? Yeah. Your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's a he's dead now. <laughs> you just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch.
Okay, so what we're doing here is this is the door out and we need three keys, uh, dog head keys in order to open it. Now, I, uh, I found one. Uh, also, there are these little doors here. Uh, they also need some kind of special key that I don't have. I don't know if it's anywhere in the house and... Ah, uh, the clock pendulum. Oh, okay, uh, I, I was trying to solve a, uh... Shoot me, shoot me. Uh, I was trying to solve a puzzle back here that I didn't have the piece for, and I've only, I've only just found it this time. This is the first time I've ever found it. Also, um... Uh, when I came back through here, I missed looking at this. Uh, it looks just like an ordinary boot, but uh, right here on the heel, it says Evelyn. And I think that's another one of uh, one of their victims because they had that list in in the basement where I found Mia. They had a list of uh, turned, dead, turned, and so on and so forth. So I'm thinking that uh, that you'll find like discarded uh, pieces like uh, like that boot of uh, people who they've been experimenting on. Oh my God, this is a, this is one of the key. This is how I got a dog key. Nothing in there. So, wow, that was, that was helpful. Um, So, with the, uh, okay, is he in here yet? Eventually, uh, Jack is going to come in here in a minute. I think it's after I, after I explore the upstairs area. I'm going to go ahead and put that dog head key in just to get it out of my inventory. Okay, that is the middle key. Uh, I found the, uh, the left-sided head key. This is also something I've been trying to work on here I, that I, I didn't solve. So this is the shotgun. I, I very much would like the shotgun, but I, I can't actually get it because <laughs> uh, the statue is weighted. And every time that you take the shotgun out of the statue's hands, the door here shuts and you can't get out. So we're going to have to find... Something, something to, I think you need to find something to weigh it down. Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. Evelyn, that's on the boot that was back there. So that's Evelyn, who's a, a little girl, it looks like. So here's another one of those weird key doors. Um... Evelyn is possibly, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think with that. I mean, oh, God, grandma, I forget that you're still there. Oh, also interesting thing. The game won't let you hit her. Like if you get close enough to attack her, the game will let you do it. I have no idea why other than she's a, a potential future boss. That's not him. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little paranoid for Jack to come back. Um, come back, Jack. Because I I I I think I'm not sure if it's a boss, another boss fight with him, or if you just need to try and avoid him. But I ended up putting like 30 bullets into him just to make him drop again, or or die again. Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie we're caught from the hall to the processing area. I'm guessing Jack left that. Also, there's this. Uh, which I got through here. Uh, I think there's, yeah, there's a key in here. Okay, I got another key. Okay, the gunpowder. And I, uh, I didn't know, but you can make bullets in this game. 
Uh, October 2nd reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. October 9th, the water has finally receded. The house is all right, but the old house was badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report it to the parish. I'll go out to check it out tomorrow. So that was also something that kind of caught my attention, is that a ship washed up. So <laughs> I, 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 ne I hadn't noticed Ethan's shadow holding the knife before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this is kind of funny. So, I think that's everything I can get in this room. Uh, I can go out here, though. And I want to say this is breakable. Yes, it is. Handgun ammo. And I also think that's Marguerite I keep hearing out there. Okay, is Jack out there yet? Okay, I don't think he's out here yet. Um, so I, I have a couple of pieces of what happened here and why this place is such a wreck. Um, in. All right, one left to go, and I'm gonna go back to the chest and put those other antique coins in. And also, I've got a shotgun shell now. That's handy. Uh, I think I'm going to make some more bullets because in case that I do actually have to fight Jack. Oh, I need chem fluid. Okay. Uh, well, I'm a dum dum. Uh, I think this room here is where the last key is. Uh, I'll I'll explain in a minute. Let's just go and get that stuff back very quickly. Yeah, I still don't hear him. So a ship crashed here. The family seems like they were normal at some point. Um, and I recall Mia saying that she had to contain something and that uh, she could feel her clawing her way back inside her was what she said. And, uh, there was also a sign outside it saying, accept her gift. So I think that uh, the ship was some kind of umbrella research facility or something. Like they were doing uh, another test for another virus. I don't think it necessarily was T-virus. All right, I guess we can't do anything else. So let's go ahead and get on with Jack. Remember, if you can't kill him, you ain't worth Jack. Uh, nothing in here. Okay, so uh, this is kind of cool. This goes back to the downstairs area, and uh, I think I'm going to try and avoid Jack for this. Uh, so uh, it starts when you drain the tub and there's a puzzle piece you need in here and this I've said it before I'm going to say it again I didn't put this I didn't put the antique coins in the chest uh, I'm a dumb dumb bullets yes I need those okay was there anything else that I could get in here I don't think so before I before I start the fight with Jack again. I'm going to go back to here and view that videotape. 
But I think I'm going to save that for another video, uh, just because I'm, I'm running close on to my time. So I will catch you in the next one. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Toodaloo!